Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Uh, today I'm going to share with you this cute little hamper that I've put together. Um, it might give some of you ideas if you're looking what to do for a gift. Um, a lovely, lovely couple that are great friends of ours are going to have a baby very, very soon. Um, this is being recorded at the right end of September. Not quite sure when I'm going to edit, edit it and get it up because um, obviously I'm not going to put it up until after we've had the baby and some people don't like visitors for the first couple of weeks but the baby's coming any day very excited um, yeah and put together a cute little hamper for them I do have an item missing um, they both mama and dad um, are big fans of um, a rhubarb gin so we've ordered a bottle of that and it's got delivered to John's work and he keeps on forgetting to bring it home. So, but there is booze involved. I don't know quite <laughs> how quickly uh, they'll get to enjoy that, but um, we've done that. Uh, I just think these little hampers are such a lovely idea. If um, when you get a baby, we were very fortunate when we had Reuben, we had lots of lovely friends do hamper style things so we had one friend they did us a nappy cake which is like there were packs of nappies and they're covered in blankets and wrapped up with ribbon so it kind of looks like a three-tiered cake um another friend did us um, a hamper that was full of like wipes and bum cream and um like super soft sponges for when they have their first bath and bath lotion that kind of thing um lots of people bought clothes which is also very cute um, I think my favourite, uh, we had one friend turn up and they had outfits for, for Reuben, but they also brought a cake that they had made. Um, uh, I think from memory, I want to say it was a cottage pie. It may have been a shepherd's pie, like a homemade shepherd's pie and then a homemade chicken casserole. So it was like actually tea sorted for the last two, the next two nights and you don't have to worry about it. So, um, yeah, just... We were very fortunate and uh, these friends were very kind to us when Ruben was born and they continue to be kind at his christening and his birthday and Christmases and stuff. So I just put together something and I thought, yeah, it might give somebody some inspiration if they have a friend that's having a baby too. Darwin is very interested in this box and <laughs> I keep on sending him away. So the actual hamper is from Poundland. It was £3.50. I must admit, I did look in TK Maxx for a hamper, or um, but they were all, like, I think the cheapest one in TK Maxx was, like, £9, um, which is okay if you know the person's kind of style and how they, you know, are they going to reuse the box, but they were all kind of out there, um, whereas I thought a simple white wicker basket will go in whatever your decor is going to be for the nursery or whatever room you end up using it in. Right. Let's pull the thing apart. Some of this I may have already shown in other haul videos, so apologies for repeats. First thing I'm pulling out is a Dove, Baby Dove Sensitive Skincare Head to Toe Wash and the matching Baby Dove Sensitive Skincare Lotion. Just thought they were cute. Uh, let's try and do the boring thing, <laughs> the boring things first. Um, I got some My Little Star cotton pads. That's Superdrug cotton pads because obviously you don't use wipes when they are very little um, and then I also got some Dove wet wipes when they move from one to the other um, picked up we <laughs> we use these we still use these until very very recently Ruben is too um, these are the Boots Baby Ultra Soft sponges for bath time and then one of my favourite nappy creams, because I have two, what has my life become? Um, Papanthum. Um, also amazing if you just had a tattoo done. Just saying. Uh, nappy ointment, gentle everyday care. There we go. Bum cream. Bum cream. <laughs> we got a VTech nursery rhyme book. Uh, this is VTEC Baby. It is suitable from 3 to 24 months. This is the nursery rhyme book with Humpty Dumpty and the Cat and the Fiddle. We had this for Reuben 
uh we had the mary had a little lamb i think it's mary had a little lamb and i think it might have had intimacy spider in it as well uh ruben loved it it's nice bright colors it is plastic i know some parents don't do plastic but it is plastic which means it can be cleaned really easily if it's projectiled on which kids do a lot um but you know there's no worry about things ripping or stuff uh but the most amazing thing with this one like you shut it and it turns it off <laughs> toys that turn off are the best thing in the world so yeah i got that one which i thought was really cute and i said we had one of these for reuben slightly different story uh and i got some of these these are a godsend my mum bought reuben these not these but some of these uh when we were oh i think Ruben was about three months old and we discovered socks on you can get them on amazon they're great basically they're just like elasticated things that you put over their feet to keep their socks on i really wish they made them in Ruben sizes because he is a stripper uh socks trousers <laughs> tops he just wants to be naked um but they worked for a very long time keeping socks on um we had a blue a black and a white pair that my mum my mum bought us um all i could find on amazon was white and brown i don't know how often little girls wear brown socks but i suppose if she's got a dark color it won't matter but yeah got some of those fabulous things if you've not if you're having a baby check them out trust me because you just go crazy putting socks back on your child. Um, I picked this one up from TK Maxx. It's not everybody's taste, but it was just too cute. So it's a big pink hair bow and some little socks with big pink bows on. It's just cute. I thought it was cute. Uh, and the last thing is this adorable cardigan that we got. I love the colour. I love the orange, but like it's very neutral. So it can go with a lot of things. I got this in size six to nine months. It's from Jules, uh, £22.95. But it's like embroidered on the back and it says smiles. And I just thought it would go with so many things. I got it in the bigger size because they grow so quickly. Even though the buying the tiny, tiny baby stuff is so much, it's just so cute. But I thought it would go with a lot of things because it's a nice neutral colour. They also had one in green that said happy or something like that. There was, they did it a few different colours with different kind of wording on. But I thought smiles was nice. But I just thought this as... Because some mums do do the whole neutral vibe thing. And I get that. It's not what we did. <laughs> not putting shade out to any other parent. It's just I noticed a lot of parents seem to like to do the neutral toned kind of almost unisex vibe with their kids and that's them when it's your baby you can do what you want that way um but i just thought even if that's not what they're choosing to do and they were going to dress her in bright bright dresses this will go with a lot of things that was the plan but yeah it's adorable and it's so soft jules does some of the nicest kitty clothes reuben is now out of the baby area the baby section at Jules stops at 23 months, I want to say. And it's so cute. Um, and then from 24 months up, the boy stuff is like, boy, it's not cute anymore. Um, Ruben's now 25 months old, so he doesn't... He can still do the stripey stuff at Jules, just not the cute stuff. But yeah, that is that is what we got our darling friends for their new baby um they're having a little girl i obviously i think i've said that nobody knows the name they're keeping it a secret until she's with us um but yeah i'm very excited for them to have it's their first child um they were really supportive of us when we were doing ivf um they're just the most adorable people and i can't wait to meet their baby anyway that's what's in our hamper i hope you're all okay take care guys i'll talk to you in the next one Bye.